Hey everyone, bringing you another video, Wasteland Sniping this time. Now my sniper class is not the same as my previous videos, I've actually changed it around a little bit. I've gone with the Barrett, that's the usual, it's my favourite sniper, but I went with Heartbeat Sense and Fall Camo. And uh, instead of the shotgun I'm using M9 Akimbo, and I'm also using Claymore's um, Stun Grenade, Stopping Power, Sleight of Hand and Steady Aim with Marty Dam. And uh, you have to give it a really cool name, otherwise it just you can't get headshots, you can't quick scope, you can't drop shot, you can't do anything without a cool name. So I um, called it Leap Pro Scopes, and it gets it, it gets a bit of everything. It gets the word Leap. I get to replace letters for numbers, and I also get a Z instead of an S, which is very important. But anyway, the basic strategy for Wasteland is literally stick to the edge, keep moving round shoot people. That's it. That's why I don't really like this map for sniping, although I do it is a map I um, always tend to do quite well on. So when I'm spawn I um, run around here on this little hill and they always run around this corner most of the time. Here's one but the leaf blocked my shot there. So I headshot him the next time. That headshot was because I had the S and the Z. But now um, I'm running around, got some cover quickly in case there was anyone else. Checking that corner again. Doesn't seem like anyone was following him. That doesn't mean there's no one here though, because there's a small hill they can hide behind around this edge. And a lot of the time there is someone going to be there. They pop out, jump out at you, and kill you. So I'm being extra careful. Checking the corner again, no. And I'm moving around my back against the radiation area and using my heartbeat sensor to check ahead of me. Just in case, I'm chucking a stun grenade up there. Just in case there's a ninja person or my heartbeat sensor didn't pick anyone up for some reason. Doesn't seem to be, so I'm constantly moving around the edge of the map, checking ahead of me. Now, I, I can tend to see small people, like little tiny bits of movement, and I can pick see people quite well. So I don't tend to um, look down my scope unless I'm pretty sure I saw something which I am now, I keep seeing someone's head poking up from the trench so I uh, run forward to try and get him because he was running down this side and there he was and uh, as soon as he popped out, get him now this uh, building up here is good because you can see quite a bit of the map and you can get cover from the left hand side because it's got this little triangle bit of wood only problem is once you shoot someone they know where you are and they come straight back even if you constantly look down the site it doesn't take a genius to work out where you are just like this guy he tries to get me again, although I was a much quicker shot than him, so I managed to kill him. But I thought, oh, next time he's not going to make that mistake three times in a row. So I uh, ran away. Keeping moving in my same direction around the map, though, then I saw someone just twitch behind this tree. And then he makes a run for it. So I finish him off. Now I'm getting sniped. Couldn't see where from, so I just made a run for the ditch. So it turns out he had thermal. Now that would have been a good spot, a good situation for cold blooded. But like I said, I didn't have this class set up specifically for this map. I was a bit gutted then because there was definitely two people there, and that predator landed right on top of them. But I saw him. I panicked because I thought he's looking right at me. But turns out I don't think he was. So I, I unnecessarily missed him because I panicked. Thought I'm about to die. Out. Let's just quickly get off some shots. So I can see a lot of movement around this area, so I've got some cover shooting out the window and I managed to steal a kill from the air support. In my opinion, it's okay to steal a kill as long as it's from the air support. But now that I'm assured myself that the coast is clear, I'm moving forward, checking where the air support's shooting. It's a good indicator that there's people around there. As soon as I step out, I'm getting shot. Don't know where from, so I just run behind the nearest cover, get out the pistols, throw a stun grenade in the rough direction and it turns out no one's there. Now I see a bit, a couple of people here and honestly I'm not good enough to make that shot and I don't think there's many people who are so uh, I tried for it, couldn't make it so I'm uh, moving forward to try and get them but it seems like they've moved on so in hopes to catch them again I'm running forward still keeping around the edge just in case there's someone around there checking but it seems like they've moved on and all my teammates are around there so they probably got caught in a crossfire. 
So I can see my teammates are here, so I'm just making a sprint to catch up to them because I'm pretty sure the coast around here is clear, although I'm still checking my radar every so often just in case, and luckily it does pay off because there was someone just hiding there. So uh, I knew my teammates were ahead of me and it's open ground, it's hard for anyone to hide in, so I made a sprint for it, but I was still being a little cautious, just checking every so often, and it paid off. Now I'm still moving around the edge, I've done a complete lap of the whole map now. now I, keep, I keep seeing something, but I reassure myself that there was no one there when I checked, and also UAV doesn't say there's anyone there, but it does say there's only three, so I wondered where they were, and they're inside the underground place. So I, I run round to try and shoot through the middle, but there's that wall in the middle, and it makes it quite difficult to get shot. It's easy from the other side, but this side can be quite difficult. But then I see someone on my left quickly, so I hop down without the pistols. And then he runs into the cave, so I throw a stun after him to slow him down so I can get the kill before someone steals it. And again, I saw someone here, so I dropped as soon as I noticed he was there. Switch weapons, popped out and got him again. Drop, switch weapons, jump out and get them. And that's a, just a little trick you can do in, in case you end up in a situation where you see them last second. But then, I don't know how I died, and I think someone spawned next to me. Now, towards the end of this game, I am questioning the spawns. I'm not usually the sort of person who just rants and complains about games for trivial problems like this, but if he did spawn next to me, I was a bit annoyed. And then, I spawned in between him, and there's two people around me, so I made a run for the building, and just got a claymore behind me in case they were following me. Then I got um, the Barrett out to use the heartbeat sensor to check where they are. Saw him last second. And then there's one on my left, so both the people who were around me died. Now all my teammates are behind me. So I, I'm not in the middle of nowhere or anything. So they're just they're right behind me, my teammates. And then three people spawn right here. Lucky I noticed just at the last second my um heartbeat sensor beat and I managed to switch weapons, run into the building, hide and triple kill them. And then end of the game. So remember the general strategy is just stick around the edge and keep running around the map and shooting at people ahead of you or behind you sometimes. And it's a really simple strategy to remember. It is the core of sniping strategy really. And it's quite a boring map to be honest but I still get 17-2 which is 8.5 times kill death ratio. Definitely impressive score. So check out my channel for the latest videos. Subscribe, rate, comment. You know. Thanks for watching.